Hi, I'm Dave Fenoy. I've been asked to share some of my thoughts on Black History Month and what it means to me. Well, it means literally everything, as you can see from my collection of African art. And I live in the stories from my mother and father on their lives in the 30s and 40s coming up. And I think about my life in the 60s and 70s as I was a young man. I remember their admonition. Son, you're going to have to work twice as hard to get half as much. But don't let that be an excuse for failure. And each time I left the house, don't forget, David, you represent the family and the race. Now... I don't just celebrate Black History in February. I think it's rather ironic that February is the month for Black History when it's the shortest month of the year, especially given that Black History is some of the oldest history on the planet. We go back more than 5,000 years from Kush and Kemet, Kemet now known as Egypt, who built the pyramids. And of course, there are the Aksum and Ethiopian empires. On to the Kingdom of Ghana, and the Mali Empire, that was larger than any European nation in its time, and whose ruler, Mansu Musa, was arguably the richest man who ever lived. But why is it that until only recently, books on the history of Africa begin with the arrival of Europeans in Africa? Well, mostly to justify enslaving black people, the enslavers did everything they could to hide black history, deny black history, and even take credit for the accomplishments of black people throughout black history. I, however, am glad we have a Black History Month. It's a reminder to focus on the stories and accomplishment of a people whose history was all but stolen from us. We were the Moors who conquered Spain in 711 and ruled it for 800 years, and in so doing, helped to bring a not as yet civilized Europe out of the Dark Ages. The Moors gave Europe improved hygiene practices, paved roads, running water, street lights, fashion, even the concept of multi-course dinners. And let's not forget, libraries and universities as well. You know, I wish there wasn't a need for Black History Month. But until our stories, our history, our legends are as ubiquitous throughout society as those of our white counterparts, what can I say but... Happy Black History Month.